Where's that blade then, eh? I was hoping I'd be able to get a look at his mush for myself, seeing as he's a legend. What a waste! These guys are emissaries from Fifth Sector. They seem a bit rough to me. Let's just do what we came in and get out of this dump, yeah? Governor, here are your orders. Let me see. So, we'll play Almighty Faith School in the second round of Saints' Way and lose 1 nil. Pfft, hardly surprising. Ha ha ha! Looks like Fifth Sector's cutting you boys loose for real! Could have towed the line, now, cuz. Then you might have got to win now and then. What a sorry bunch of mugs. Hey, I feel like I've seen you guys somewhere before. You play for Almighty Faith, right? So, you work for Fifth Sector, delivering score directives and scouting us out at the same time. Smart. Ha! Why would we even bother scouting you out? Even if you play proper, we're still gonna chew you up and spit you out! You don't know that. Well then, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. That's right, it's better if you lot just do as you're told. Smell you later! Okay, Buzz Lightyear's turned into Gary Oak suddenly. You don't get it, do you, Coach Evans? It's your neck on the line here. You're lucky you've got off so lightly. Huh. What? Please wait a moment. Uh, you're gone. Ugh, they think they can speak to us however they like. Chew us up and spit us out, those Schweinehunde. It doesn't even make any sense. We're both a rank schools. Well, if you don't like it, being treated like that, win the next match. There's no match that isn't worth winning. We're going to aim for victory in the second round. Yes, coach? Uh, coach? Yes, Dodge? I don't think I can be involved with this team anymore. I'm out. What? Dodge, wait! I mean, that's not really the point of a dodge. <laughs> you know, it's kind of an instantaneous movement, the idea of dodging. But yep, we're in Chapter 4 and we're still having X characters leaving the team things. We had Ricardo in the last chapter. We had the Lars and Sven in Chapter 2. Remember those guys? We had almost every football player in the school in Chapter 1. It just doesn't end. Please Dodge, wait. Don't leave. Think about what you're doing. No, think about what you're doing. If you keep on going up against Fifth Sector, things will only get worse. Duh, you've come this far with us, Dodge. If you quit now, it'll be for nothing. I only did it to boost my grades. I can't let them start dropping now. I'm not sure we really agree about what's important here. Are you really going to walk away from football, Dodge? Yep, I think so. See you around. Well, there he goes. <laughs> Dodge! It's gonna be tough with Dodge walking out on us at a time like this. Arian, this is all your fault! If you hadn't joined the club, we'd never have got into this mess. We all know football's corrupt, Arian, but we stuck at it all the same. And it was because we loved to play. And now you are taking it away from us. What? I didn't want to take it away from you. I just wanted to play real football. And look where it's got us. It's not Fifth Sector that's destroying this club. It's you. But I... Uh... We've got some tough opposition this time. I wonder what Jude would do. Looks like they get it at last. This rebellion is totally futile. They're just chasing their tails. 
Well said, Blade. Coach Sable. Your mission has been decided, Blade. You must eliminate Aryan Sherwind in the second round of the Saints Way Regionals. Sherwind? Yes, taking out Sherwind, the instigator of the rebellion, is vital to accomplishing our objective of destroying Ryman. Use whatever is at your disposal. You have clearance to make it so he never plays football again, like your brother. When Saint's Vey is over, you will pay for my brother's surgery, won't you? If that's what you want? Yes. But first, crush Sherwind. That's what you must do if you want your brother's legs to be healed. It was because of you that your brother was injured. Don't forget that. Uh, do not fail, Blade. Gah. I mean, if being in fifth sector gives you teleportation abilities, then I want in. Well, what did you expect, Dumkopf? You don't have to talk to him like that, Michael. It's so weird to hear this German character just called Michael. I know he's normally Kaiser, which is his nickname, and... You, you would want to have a nickname when your legal name is Michael Balzac, but... Ricardo, the investigation into Almighty Faith School is complete. Grazie, Miss Hills. You ask Miss Hills to look into Almighty Faith? Why? Something's a bit fishy about Infinity Beyond and the others. I thought it would be best to get some data before we take them on. Yep, they really called him Infinity Beyond. And you wonder why I gave him a Buzz Lightyear voice! Actually, I wasn't the one who did the investigating. I made use of the services of one William Glass. William who? He's prepared a dossier entitled Almighty Faith Secrets. That's what he told me anyway. Almighty Faith Secrets, hmm? Sounds like something we've got to get our hands on. Let's go and find this William Glass. Okay, well, you'll find him in the game centre. It'll make sense when you get around there. Good luck! Yeah, so we have actually seen William Glass in a couple of cutscenes before, so we know exactly who it's going to be. Guess I'll check the iNata just out of curiosity. I should really save them to read it all at once, but... I just love the eye natter, right? It's great to read every now and then. Anyway, so that that was that. So we already saw Willy Glass in a cutscene, but he's not called Willy Glass anymore. He's grown up. He's now 24 years old instead of being 14. He realized that Willy was a bit of a naff nickname and he's gone with William Glass. This is actually a new area though. We get to go in the shady back alley area of the shopping area so we'll have a good look around it because there's a training spot where you can increase your block abilities and we just got Wally Ram in the previous episode through pal packing so I might as well give him some screen time he's very good at carrying boxes I'll tell you that and off screen I did also get another new recruit who I quite like the look of so we'll give her some screen time as well Oh, no, we, I guess I haven't actually moved her into the main lineup then. So instead, we'll just train Rusty, seeing as he's actually a defender and finds good use of defensive abilities. But once again, with these training wheels, it is too easy to get an excellent. I have been trying and trying at every single opportunity to get a anything less than a good... I wouldn't call that good, to be honest, you dropped two of them. But well, come on, one more chance to get a whoops. The Robo Games runner-up of one year. <laughs> I really didn't need to drop that one in there, but... Yeah, never mind. If I keep going with this, I'm going to run out of money. So, one day, I'll get some kind of whoops. And so, yeah, what I like about this is that because we're in a back alley area, 
there's actually street salesmen, but weirdly their merchandise is absolutely fine. In fact, he was selling a victory celebration, so I would never want to pass that up, which is why I always want to check the the um the salesmen whenever I encounter them. Come on, please be a no. Oh, it's a don't. It's a score the goal. Well, never mind. I'm committed to it now. While we play on the tiles, I just really want to show off a take the ball. Oh, I did add her to the team. She's just in the main lineup of four. So yeah, I'm really gonna score with a level three player. Oh dear, that happened automatically because I had Dodge in goal, but now he's he's left the team, and that is a permanent thing, by the way. It's not just a brief story thing. Dodge is genuinely gone. They let you train him up. For three whole chapters, you can use him on the training wheels, spending real money on it. You can level up his Sonic shot, and then he just leaves. And all of your efforts training him up were genuinely for nothing. Dodge is gone, and that's the end of that. And I can't really win this because I don't have any shooting moves on any of the players in my, in my group. Well, we've put Ricardo back in, so I guess we'll head into the game center momentarily. Um, okay, <laughs> we've got a passionate debate. Video games are an art form. People call football the beautiful games, but they just don't understand the beauty of video games. This door here is actually a pathway back to the normal shopping area. The one that you don't look like you're going to get beat up in. There's plenty of new players that you can recruit here. I don't... I can, what? <laughs> Look at him! If I had the panther gloves, I'd go straight for that. But yeah, you know, pal packing, it's not too bad for recruiting random players. But, oh, recruiting players from actual important teams that we beat throughout the story. It's no fun. And speaking of no fun, all of these moves are terrible. I don't recommend any of them. So let's go and meet up with William Glass, the second member of Inazuma National we get to meet since Scotty Banyan. If you count Willie Glass as a member of Inazuma National, you know, he, he was staff. That's the photo I was looking for. You can take a picture of the Crane game. He certainly wasn't a player. But, yeah, he was he was a tactician, except Jude came up with all the tactics in the, in the game. So he was literally there just to name moves and hack into Zulan Rice's man computer. But nevertheless, he's here with a random pal packer hanging around in his room. I do like these players, though, because they're specifically all gamers, and we just, we just can't unlock them unfortunately because I haven't been doing enough random encounters to see what the requirements would be. We'll take a picture of a pillow. Apparently we were taking a picture of Achilles. Um, is Mr. Glass here? I wonder if it's Achilles from Little Battler's experience actually. Because that is a game made by level 5 which references Inazuma 11. I could totally believe that being an LBX reference. No matter how many times I try, I can't take this dragon down. Honestly, is it even possible to beat this game? Seems like the strategies for defeating it have become a hot topic on the net lately. Everyone gets stuck at the same point. And yes, that is Artist, the striker from Otaku in Inazuma 11 1. These guys became friends, and that's wonderful. What's he talking about? You don't know? It's Magical Etric Chronicles, Arion. All the hardcore gamers are playing it at the moment. Oh, okay. I don't think Mr. Glass will be in any mood to help us until he knows how to beat that game. Hmm. Hey, I heard there's a guy around here who knows everything there is to know about games. Maybe we should try asking him. Yeah, maybe you can tell us how to beat it. If we want to get our hands on Almighty Faith's secrets, we could just 
prod William Glass on the shoulder and say, Oi, we came here for a reason. I know you've been working with Percival Travis. Open up on the secrets. Well, now that we've got Achilles, the LBX, perhaps these would... No, oh, you need to beat them in battle, okay. Let's have a quick look at the Inata. See if they're whinging about this very contrived... Get... Hashtag not a stalker. The previous episode would disagree with that one, Arian. Anyway, we need to find the legendary gamer. In fact, he's so legendary, his name is Gamer. It's the same one from Otaku yet again. There's no game I can't beat on the Game Center Champion. How to defeat the dragon in Magical Hattrick Chronicles? Easy. Just equip the Super Dizzy Wand. Do that and you'll slay that dragon no problem. This information means absolutely nothing to any of us. But nevertheless, we'll forward it on to Mr. Glass. When people ask, should I play the video game or watch the anime? You won't get that in the anime. Whether that's a good thing or not is up to you. But obviously, I, I do prefer the games myself, if you want my genuine opinion. Anyway, he's beat the dragon, or at least he'll do it later. Are you that Arian Sherwin fellow? Yeah, Miss Hill sent us here to pick up a dossier called Am Almighty Faith Secrets. You're Mr. Glass, right? Yes, yes, I am. And we are a group of elite hackers. We can get pretty much any kind of data from any kind of computer. And a gamer is now in the room. We are the Spyglass Hackers. I like the pose, though. Oh, it's that gamer who helped us out before. He's a member too. When did he sneak in? <laughs> At least they're addressing it. But enough chit-chat, gentlemen. Allow me to present you with that which you came for. And there we go. We've got Almighty Faith Secrets. It probably says something like Infinity Beyond has a, a crush on... what? What's the female doll from Toy Story called? Oh dear. That's a, that's a 10 out of 10 flub from Tale of the Toaster. There's some top-level sensitive material in this, so you'd best not open it up round here. Go back to Ryman and look at it with Celia. If you have any more problems, fear not. We noble hackers are ever at your disposal. Well, give my regards to Mark and Celia. Well, I think that's something we can move straight on to. We've got the secrets. Let's see what the secrets are. Through the power of skip travel! Well, after we let Willy brag about Ryman's success a little bit. Eh? Hey, hey, hey. We might seem like a bit of a motley crew, but we're actually a really elite group of techies. Why, just the other day we hacked Fifth Sector's systems to give Ryman a new coach. Yep. We get the official confirmation. They certainly didn't hire Mark Evans on purpose. It was all their fault that we've got such a fantastic coach. Now then, we will walk over to said fantastic coach and deliver him stolen information. <laughs> That's right. Part 15, we're going to stalk someone in the hospital. Part 15, we're going to steal sensitive data and publicize it with third parties relevant to the information being distributed. Oh, I wish I could skip travel straight to the stadium itself. Oh, you're back. Come on, let's have a look at that dossier. Almighty Faith Secrets in all caps. The first secret. Almighty Faith concealed three Imperials. Infinity Beyond, the Captain is one. Th three Imperials? We're done for. Say a cabot. The second secret. Almighty Faith conceal another, yet more terrifying secret. That is... Pending research. What? You can't bang on about terrifying secrets and then keep mum about them? Ugh! Oh no, three Imperials. If they all have fighting spirits too, they're going to tear us limb from limb. The only thing that can stand up to a fighting spirit is another fighting spirit. And the only players here who have them are Rick and... Victor. Indeed. Coach, 
I want you to play me in this next match. What? Oh, they must have finally given the order to destroy Ryman Football Club. You want me to put you on the pitch? Coach, this is crazy. He's an Imperial. If you let him on the pitch, he'll do everything he can to sabotage our game. Rick's right. All he's going to do is make sure this match goes the way Fifth Sector wants it to. Okay, Blade, you'll get your game. I... I don't know what you have planned, but I will be playing how I want. That's all I'll say for now. Coach, why are you doing this? With Blaine on the squad, we're bound to lose. Don't you want us to win? It's precisely because I want us to win that I'm going to put him out there. There's something you all should know. I came back from Ryman to defeat Fifth Sector. Fifth Sector is all wrong. Football for the sake of good grades and a gleaming report is not real football. I've chosen a terrifying opponent. That's why I came back to Ryman. To find friends to help me take them on. We're going to win Saints Way and smash Fifth Sector. If we stand together, we can do it. Coach, are you serious? I am. But I won't force anyone to come along with me. It's up to each of you to decide whether you'll carry on following Fifth Sector or join me in taking back real football. Whatever decision you make, it's fine by me. I'll be waiting for you by the school gates tomorrow. It's up to us to decide, eh? Well, it ain't bleeding easy. 